Hello guys and welcome back to Power and Revolution 2019 edition. The last episode we conquered Venezuela. Uh, I sh may have started World War III by getting Russia to join me as China attacks me because they went to go help Venezuela after a bug that uh, they never should have gotten involved, but a bug caused them to get involved. Pakistan is also attacking me, Iran's attacking me, and Vietnam's attacking me due to this bug. But Russia and China are now at war. So that's interesting. I'm not quite sure. I, I can't ask Russia to join me in these. At least not off this screen. I'm not sure why. Yeah. But yeah, nothing I can do about it. Um, some interesting, th interesting things have happened. So I just got this. The bill has been voted on, but unfortunately, the law has not been passed. Now that's funny, right? Because you guys have seen in this playthrough that I made my Congress a consultative power with no uh, true power. And in fact, now that I go here and look at it, something's different. It's back. They have power again. I think this happened when I integrated Venezuela. I, I think it just tried to meet somewhere in the middle of how much power they had there and how much power they have over here. And then just kind of, I, I don't even, I don't even get it, but uh, that's what it chose to do. And so I'm going to have to once again, remove power from parliament. Which is going to lead to a whole bunch more rioting, but I mean, hey, what are you going to do, right? Because now, we're still authoritarian, but Congress is the, like the main thing that got in our way. Let's, let me run you through some stats here. Growth hasn't gone up too much, just because uh, I haven't worked on it. Unemployment's gone way down because I pumped a lot of money into work. Let me show you. Pumped a lot of money into work when I was fixing my popularity. I just... Bumped these up to max right here. These two got the unemployment down real nice. Got the growth up a little bit too. I'll be working on that. It's higher than the inflation, so I don't mind it right now. I'll focus on it more a little bit later. We got a newspaper. Dictatorial sit-in. Yeah, so... Oh, man. It's just so interesting. Placing on the political parties. Ah, shut up. Probably going to get a bunch of little complaints like that so the first thing i have to do i have to take power away from parliament again uh and i'll use a tv appearance too they have to actually vote this through is the is the catch you know but let's see what happens if i do this and with the tv appearance they are going to vote for it so if nothing else changes we're good we will have to fight some consequences of this, however, but shouldn't be too bad. So what is this? This is an oil terminal with a bunch of missile launchers at it. You do not need to be there. Go somewhere else. Go over here. What is over here? A lot of missile launchers. Okay, maybe you weren't needed there. I don't know where certain troops came out of. Like, okay, there's a bunch over there. Let's send you guys down there. Reorganizing through this would just be so annoying because so many places were just like left. Got some human rights hits, of course a sit-in, some riots, this is going to be fun. Riots have been dealt with, I'm going to go clear up all this dilapidated housing that's popped up over here. I think I may have cleared most of it off here too, yeah, let's clear, oh, no, 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 10. Clear this up here, another riot getting in the way, a meeting request with the leader of Colombia. Alright, what do you want? Let's, let's give you a, let's give you a meeting very soon political expression i didn't i didn't actually restrain the freedom guys calm down it was just an attempt well actually technically i'm getting rid of certain rights again so i guess that makes sense they're still freaking out about the With other regards bill. to this fleet yo you know our commanders are cocky when they keep telling me to go attack a attack like this u.s fleet over here you know they're cocky where are our military bases over here? We have an air base over here that has some random shit in it. Um, I really destroyed in this war most of their military infrastructure because they had an air base over here. It's just dead now. This was destroyed by the U.S. This was an oil terminal. 
One thing I wanted to check real quick was, do we have any more oil terminals? We do right here. Okay. I understand why this one was over here though, just cause I mean, look at how many oil wells are over here and God damn the oil from Venezuela is pretty nuts. Let's actually, we haven't looked at that yet. Let's not skip over the details here. By the way, how's our electricity? Cause we just got all, everything in Venezuela, the entire country, the entire self-sufficient country we have just inherited. Our consumption has gone way up since the start of the game. Uh, production cap has gone up with the few wind places that I put down, which is nice. Uh, our renewable energy comes from that. Looks like we got some more fossil production. That comes from taking over uh, Venezuela. So our emissions have also gone up because of taking over Venezuela. They've also taken a little bit of a hit here. Uh, okay, I mean, that's completely fine. Let's take a look at... We got, we absorbed all their uh, consumption and their production as well. So let's take a look at oil here. I went from producing 3% of the world's oil to f almost 5.5% of the world's oil. Yeah, and consuming 26 to 34 or 3.5%. Trade balance has gone up. Very good. That's nice. What about uh, natural gas? Uh, my trade balance is better. My production is not actually showing get up here production has gone up i don't know how much of this is from me making but a lot of this is also probably from taking over this country and getting things like this gas well which a tank has decided to go chill at tank go over here they've chosen the most random places to go sit around i wonder how many oh god there's just like ra oh, there's random tanks and shit everywhere I have to rebuild all these places still. Boy. I don't even know where most of the soldiers went, but I do know there was a lot of soldiers up here. A lot of commandos. Did they just spread out throughout the cities? For the most part, yeah. Let's... Oh? What the hell? I'm over the right thing, right? 96 is the max. Alright, that's some weird ass looking bug. So I got my meeting here with Columbia. They want to trade with me. They would like to purchase milk. And their purchase price is way above mine. Uh, I don't know how much they're going to want to negotiate with me, but... 312.47. Let's tick it up twice. I don't know how much they'll like to negotiate, but this is not a very consequential contract either way. Half a bill, eh, kind of is a lot, but I want to make sure I get some good prices. So I went to 368, they went to 360, um, I, or 330. I'm going to go to three, uh, three actually just 60 across the board. 360, negotiate, they came back with 345. I'm going to come back with 352 across the board, just a little above their purchase price, negotiate, and they took it. Nice, all right, cool. Awesome, you want some sure. coffee? Great, cool. Let's uh, reveal scandals involving him. What scandals do I even have? I saw I got a bunch more stuff. Um, exterior, secret files, Columbia. Oh, Argentina, Argentina, I have nuclear weapon test suspicions now. Too bad I don't have proof. For him, it's just financial aid to terrorist organizations. At this point, I don't, e I don't even know if... Stop his military operations. Stop. I got the message. I shall take this approach at my next crisis meeting and sincerely hope we can find alternatives that will enable us to emerge from this conflict as quickly as possible. Uh, that's good. I, I know they had troops along my border. I guess I just told them to stop it. But we got some trade, so that's that's always nice. And everything's going well. I, I don't know if the UN's going to prove very useful That's to us no in the future. Task. I know. No, I'm not giving your fucking nephew a job. Uh, what are these? These these fucking refugees are are just going to the border. Where are you going? Did someone set up a refugee camp over there? The cities are all being rebuilt. You have no reason to go over there necessarily. I don't know. They're retarded. 
Do I have any other things? Yeah, I just I still have just some random ass shit just spread around. Nothing to report with Columbia. Situation stabilized. Hey, nice. Uh, oil over here. Yeah. Oh wow. It sucks that you can't just automatically tell them all to go back to where they started. You'd have to individually move them to all the places. Oil well, oil well, oil well, nothing, nothing. Did we end up destroying any, like, oil wells or something by accident? I don't think so. Another oil well. Let's see. So they have one, two, three, four oil wells? I thought they had five. One is what? Can I see the stats here? No. I thought they had five. One, two, three, four. They have a gas well, I see. God, that brings in so much. Um, another broken airport here. How many airports, how many military bases did I end up destroying in this war? Oh boy, thank God I'm building at least a few new ones. Not that we need an excessive amount. This is fine over here. It would be better up, pushed up against Columbia, like proper, but it should be fine. Uh, all right. Just taking a look around. For the moment. Sit-in government policy. No, just I'll leave them alone. How are these sit-ins going? There's almost nobody here. Just, yeah, fuck it. Just call police intervention. They're such small groups, it's not gonna hurt so bad. Uh, newspaper, yeah, just uprisings. In Russia and China, it's not very interesting. Russia's blown up a single infantryman on their side. Not very much. Speaking of infantry, I need to uh, I need to fix my numbers here. I lost some troops. I gained, and the troops I got from Venezuela don't actually make up for it. So let's raise that number again. Back up to the number it was at before. We're at a oh oh wait can we oh no only Russia only Russia not China anymore. Ooh, did China advance? China might have better missiles. Well, if they could, I feel like I'd see them. Probably not, actually, because they're at war with me. Uh, what did we get from uh, Venezuela? Probably not much, because I destroyed most of their stuff. But we're at a point now where making our own stuff would start to prove rather wise, I would say. Especially, we need more planes in this country. We need more planes. Let's take a look. Uh... 70.49 for million for each plane, and we have almost no capacity for it. Let's compare that to, say, if we bought it from Russia, it's 65.32. Wow, we could get a cheaper buying from our ally. I'm going to just buy it from us, though. So I went ahead and I purchased 10 uh, planes. They're not going to arrive till later in the year. Only 10 because we don't actually have much industry capacity, and the more I add into one contract, the longer it takes. Oh, God, militarism, liberties, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, what are you people freaking out about? All right, this still has to do with the Congress thing. I'll give Sit in. Terrorist threat. Oh, no. Yeah, by the way, all my budget modifiers, like the stars, have all gotten adjusted to what Venezuela had. Uh, the... And it did a really weird, it went about it in a really weird way. Oh, by the way, I did notice, I went to population and I did notice the population bug did happen. It did just go ahead and add together my birth rate with their birth rate. Unless their birth rate was just really high. This is what's most common. Population growth skyrocketed. Look at how many young people we have. The first year always gives you so many young people in this game. Poverty is leveling out probably because I got so many people employed. Speaking of that, we're, we're taking a couple little popularity hits here. A couple. We could improve something over here. Maybe we don't need to do it a whole bunch, but we could still improve something over here. Um, some things are just going to cause even more riots. I know that. Maybe I should just get those out of the way right now. Like integration of handicapped in the workplace. Or gender equality or employment discrimination. Ah, uh, let's do this one. I don't know if people like this, but I'm gonna do it. I've been dealing with more rebellions, got my popularity up. 
with social women rights integration anti-racism and handicap because i went ahead and went to work here and i maxed all this out that should make certain people that tend to like me or tend to dislike me like me more which would be nice there's a new sit-in i'm not even gonna bother i'm just gonna have the police just break it apart my a lot of my numbers of workers are all just messed up now because of uh absorbing venezuela's God, you know, Venezuela didn't actually have the largest population, but they had enough of a weird budget and population difference to make it really weird. Oh, man, people are migrating out of the country. I mean, that's fine by me, quite honestly. Our life expectancy has been going up and up over time. Our social, like, the age where you get a job has not, or the age where you retire, I should say. By the way, our growth up to 2.7% all of a sudden. Maybe... Probably because I'm spending a whole bunch of money. Unemployment's down to 6.54, looking real nice. I was I was always saving it for moments like this. Saving a lot of this spending for moments like this. And oh my god, it's come in handy. So much. So much. Demonstrators being liberated. I'm going to have to get my spending for like Secret Service back up though. Because it went down in a lot of areas. Let's go ahead and just do that. That's a lot of money. Let's go ahead and spend it. Yikes! You see that change? That's fine. We got loads of money. Let me just show you how much money we're sitting on, by the way. Uh, our budget... By the way, I, I've really raised our budget. Like, this is what I've done to it since the end of the war. It was under $100 billion and it's it's just skyrocketing. We're, we, we, we're passing France... I, like, the only person with a bigger budget at this point is the United States. At least that it's showing us. The surplus is going down, the budget excess going down, but it's still really high. Uh, we have a pretty large treasury in the hundreds of billions, and honestly, it's just going to keep going up and up every quarter, no matter what I'm doing here. So, it's pretty good. And we're making an interest off of it, which makes it even better. More terrorist threats, gotta love it, and then a bunch of riots. And, oh yeah, an inauguration, we opened a library. We got a public library. Why are you all going there? Stop it. I've noticed our budget here has gotten all messed up again. Um, let me just see about something. Is, is there a volcano in Venezuela that I have to worry about? Is there a volcano anywhere? Chances are no, but doesn't hurt to check. Okay, what's this? Is this a volcano or is it just a mountain? It's a tourist attraction, which is nice. I'm going to say it's just a mountain and not worry about it. And I'm going to throw money into here again to get it back up to where it was. It's getting so expensive. Fucking... Let's just, let's max all this out because I've taken more hits. One of the hits was actually because of public finances. So doing this maybe isn't the smartest, but hey, fight me, dude. Fight me. Uh, this is a good, good time to check as well. Well, kind of, maybe not. Uh, cars per capita still been going up. Uh, price of fuel is lower than it was at the start of the game. Electric vehicles and... Self-driving vehicles still going up. Nice, nice. Just want to make sure. This got knocked out from the top. Let's raise that back up. Uh, government policy sitting. Unacceptable. Making no effort to combat climate change. That's a load of shit. I'm doing a lot. It's just that I absorbed a country that's not doing a lot. It's not my fault. I didn't do it. No, don't attack people. Why are you so wanting to attack people? What just happened here? Public finance. People really don't like me spending money. Maybe I should just stop spending money. I'm sure they'll like it if I raise the amount of healthcare workers again. How is that looking now, by the way? Population per medical doctor is looking a lot better again. Um, I don't think they need more here. I could go ahead and make some more hospitals. Look at these weird ass numbers. How many, how many of each hospital do I need? I don't know. Let's just, let's just make like six of these. Let's make a maternity. Well, we have a lot of maternity hospitals. What about some regular hospitals? Let's make a 12 of these. 
Social centers. That doesn't sound very interesting. Get rid of that. Oh, infiltrated agent. Oh, he got murdered. Probably because of how stuff went down. Also, by the way, someone else has told me to raise the amount of national officials. And just note, I did that at the beginning of the series, in case you don't remember. And the only person in the world that has more national officials than I do is China. Now, I know I have a lot of land, and it's been a while since I looked at it. And in fact, now it might be important to look at it just because of uh, the fact that I took over a country. But, yeah. The participants of the city... Ecologists. The ecologists are sitting in? You sons of bitches. I'm doing a lot to help the environment, quite frankly. So I don't know why you're complaining. So are you the one sitting in right now? The ecologist group. Yeah, you are. You don't even hate me. You don't dislike me at all. Still gonna get rid of this rowdy band. One thing I'm curious about. Let's go to energy. And go to fuel. And our production has gone up, in fact. That's nice. Venezuela must have been a good exporter for fuel. Happiness increases. Of course it does. I'm such a good leader. I mean, I'm at war with a bunch of people, kinda. We got this latent conflict between us and the U.S. all of a sudden. It's, it's because they have troops so close to us. Uh, I wonder if I can fix that with some diplomatic meetings. Um, or maybe they won't meet with me. I, I, I can give aid. Okay, I can't meet with them because they're not a real country. But what about the United States? Where am I? What about the United States? Maybe I can get them to leave. Also, Gabon wants to meet with me, alright? You are no doubt aware that this cancellation... Ah, they don't like me enough to meet with me anymore? Bitch, you're gonna... you're gonna regret that. Good morning! I didn't All right, come empty so we have our contract fact, with Gabon here. Economic contract, which, as well, let's see what they want. They want to purchase fowl. Uh, I guess I can spare some. You got a high purchase price. Well, let's see if you will negotiate with me. Let's go. So it's 1818. Send it over. They come back with 1738. This is above their purchase price. Yeah, dude, I'll take it. <laughs> a lot of people have set, been setting up meetings with me, by the way. I just kind of want to point that out. Uh, I love Also, while I sit here in peace, it's good to remind everybody that we're not at peace, actually. We got people from Pakistan and all these other places coming over to fight. What the hell? That's a boat. It's a boat saying that it's in Libya. This game, this playthrough is so buggy. But yeah, we're still at war. We still have people coming for us. And oh my god, what just happened? Human rights. Oh yeah, the bill probably just went through, didn't it? The bill has been awesome. The powers of parliament are once again gone. It's a new quarter, and we have ooh 095 percent interest on our treasury. We got a 505 billion cash surplus. Holy shit. Look at, look at our reserve just building up. It's awesome. Uprising, sit-ins. All right. Well, uh, I think we're starting to recover. Bugs aside and the fact that there's these giant invasion fleets coming for me. All that aside, it's going pretty well. I wish Russia would get involved over here and, you know, maybe help me out. Maybe make their own little offensive. They're not. Uh, not much I can do about that, but... I also can't call them in for any other purpose, like, I don't have the option. Alright, so we got our meeting with Good Slovenia. Morning. I didn't come empty-handed. And they want to trade as well. They would like to purchase pork. Alright, let's see what you're willing to do here. 74.86, you probably won't negotiate as much, but let's see. 17.58, let's send that over. They came back with 15.99, 17.58. 58 let's go let's I, i'm not gonna be too hardball on them honestly let's go down to 1700 666 okay 16 give me 1675 and you got yourself a deal there you go 
a dollar above their purchase price. Nice small little contract right there. We also researched an anti-AIDS vaccine and an autonomous rover for space exploration. We're getting a, a whole bunch of nice researches done in terms of space now that I pumped up the spending. Uh, recent efforts against CO2 emissions have paid off. Awesome. I'm curious if we go look in here. Uh, chance of world or nuclear conflicts at 100%. Real good, real good. Up from 7.86%. Armed conflicts are they're a little worse because of me, maybe, but not just me. Uh, pollution. Looks like it's actually been improving over time, global warming, the situation. Extinction of animal species has not been improving. Climate refugees has been improving. With regard. Yeah, yeah. With regard Random shit I don't care about. Terrorism's at an all time low, so that's nice. Deforestation's been improving. Okay, look at this stuff. Epidemic, ocean acidity, dietary risks. Oh yeah, that's a thing I haven't uh, messed with very much now that I think about it. Look at all this fighting in Libya! Libyan democratic movement over here fighting with uh, some people. There's just some constant fighting over here. They got some camps. The city's in flames. Oh man, I, I a playthrough is Libya sounds ridiculous like any of these countries that start out in a constant state of civil war yemen libya there's a bunch of them hell even afghanistan look at afghanistan the mujahideen kicking some ass over here what's the matter where's the u.s helping you huh as the u.s i can fix this without losing a single life it's called i get rid of this military camp i put a bunch of agents in here and then i Focus on dismantling terrorist groups, and they don't like when you do that, but they thank you for, for doing the moment. it. They begrudgingly thank you. Demonstrators, blah blah blah. Electricity production, yeah, I know, I know. Bam, bam. Who's rioting? Okay. So, now that we have the Congress ba put back in their place, having no power. By the way, what is the state of the Congress? There hasn't been a single, like, election so far. <laughs> uh, their, their power's gone again. That's good. Now, I these political parties just will not leave me alone. They have to go. So I have to go for this again. Allow one political party under state control. We're going for it again. It's going to cause a whole bunch of problems, but I'm going to deal with it just like I've dealt with everything else. Right? Right. Yes. <sighs> Human rights hits right off the bat. Someone cyber attacked me. Someone cyber attacked me. Like, just generic cyber attack. 2.7 billion in damages. Well, I, I just got the cryptography and cybersecurity up, and we don't have... The, well, actually, we have a lot of cyber analysts, quite honestly. Maybe we need more. That doesn't happen very often, so I'm going to assume we don't actually have a big cyber security problem, especially not as I'm going to gold here. We could go ahead and uh, do one thing again, do another citizen awareness campaign. It's been a few years. Let's go ahead and start one of those. We got the ability to make a, uh, a probe, a space forecast. probe. Our growth forecast is looking nice. Unemployment's down to 5.3. It's getting so healthy. It's amazing. Inflation has been going down slowly but surely since the start of the game, which is every economist's dream. Growth of the economy, increased wealth of the people without things getting more uh, expensive. Our major infrastructures have suffered little damage overall except for the airports with intermittent failures and flights have been... We did not inform our citizens at all about cyber protection. I ran a thing about it two years ago. Maybe you just have to run this like every year. One of my men succeeded in infiltrating key centers. Oh, nice. We, we got into the uh, terrorist organization. Uh, once I close down all the political parties, I think they might all turn into terrorist groups, by the way. Just so you know, damn, almost seven billion in damages. That's so upsetting. It's because of my it's because of my people, he was saying. I ran a an awareness thing like a few years ago, not that long ago even. With regards to this fleet. Uh Bolivia. Some information on Bolivia. What did we get on Bolivia? Uh, more financial aid bullshit. God, we we're accumulating so many so much 
dirt. I'm sorry. China. China. It was China. Question. It is China, you son of a bitch. I thought we were friends. We were friends at one point. I think we're still in an organization together. Fucking bricks. We're still in bricks together, China. Why you gotta do this? You make me so sad. You make me so sad. Uh, 11 years old and overbooked. 11, 11 years, Samuel's never had a free day, nothing to do. Children don't have time to get bored and make mistakes. What? The criminal group among the underaged turned his neighbors pale. What? Are you trying to say we have a lot of crime or something? Our crime rate's lower than it's ever been. I, I don't know what, you, what you're on about. Violent deaths are down, drug addiction's up, but barely. Two, less than two people out of every thousand. The amount of police we have is insane. I, c I could ramp up some spending here. I, I really haven't put much spending in into this because it used to cause me problems, so I just didn't bother. And the game is frozen. It's on not responding right now. Okay, and it's back. Thank God. All right, well, looking at the time, it looks like we got a full episode here, recovering from the war with Venezuela bit by bit. Our country is getting very improved during the recoveries. Our GDP per capita is a little bit down. Um, our poverty is going... Oh, it's at an all-time low. Look, look at that. Getting people employed does lower it. Huh. <laughs> and the war is still coming, though. We got Pakistan Pakistanians sailing through Africa. Because I don't even know... Iranians are coming, Chinese are coming, and Vietnamese are still coming. They're very, very far away, though. I should be able to stop them with maybe, like, nuclear subs or something. I should look more into making some more military when I get the chance, or certain other things. There's a lot of things I need to do, and I, I'm really doing my best to micro them. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, we're managing to get pushed past the bugs so far, and into the future, and... Oh, God, who knows what's going to happen next. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.